CNBC TV 18 special report focused on whether the S1 Pro scooter was even market ready before it was launched in December 21, whether the product had been adequately tested and uh, the tendency to start and stop businesses within months. And why has there been such a high attrition rate, at least 50% in senior roles in less than two years? We reached out to 10 former employees, six of whom shared their accounts about the inner workings of the company. A 14-point questionnaire sent to Ola Electric got a partial response, with the company responding to two of CNBC TV 18's queries. So first, was the S1 Pro scooter ready when it was launched? The future factory was set up in seven months and the product was commercially launched in December 21. Former employees have told CNBC TV 18 that Bhavish had been advised to delay the launch of the scooter because the software had not been adequately tested and the product in some ways was not ready. Former officials say the complaint rate was unusually high after the launch, especially about sudden drop in battery performance. There were also complaints about screen malfunctioning, panel gaps and sudden reverse movements. We also learned that there were issues with BMS, that is the battery management system, and the company had not been able to develop all features by the time of the launch. Ola has also been seeing a drop in sales and former Ola Electric employees say that subdued demand is due to a mix of factors including customer complaints, EV fires, the government probe and performance related issues. The company, which sold over 12,000 units in April, sold 9,225 units in May, and that came down sharply in June to 5,874 units. Delivery timelines have reduced from a few months to just two days now. In its defense, Ola says the drop in sales is due to a shortage of cells, and the company has brought turnaround time to 48 hours and is confident about fulfilling a strong order book in future. But have all issues really been resolved? While Ola says it has moved to a new operating system, a brief look at Bhavish and Ola Electric's timelines show multiple complaints about software, maps, navigation, panel gaps and battery performance as well. Also, is an act fast, think later culture hurting Ola Electric? Ola Cars and Ola Dash were launched around the same time as the S1 Pro. Both companies were shut down in June this year as Ola was reassessing priorities. Former Ola Cars and Ola Dash employees say Bhavish did not consult senior colleagues before deciding to close down the Ola Cars business. Some expressed surprise and said Ola Cars was actually on track to becoming number one and a 1500 plus crore business. CNBC TV 18 has also learned that Bhavish had been advised against launching Ola Dash due to its low ticket size and poor margins. Sources say closure of Ola Cars could actually lead to the exit of 600 people. 50% of Ola's senior leaders have quit in two years. Employees say the board of directors should take note of the series of exits that have taken place. Among some reasons being pointed out for the exodus were unreasonable targets. For example, wanting a mature business like Ola Cabs to grow uh, four times in six months. One former Ola Cabs employee told CNBC TV 18, and I quote, it is insufferable, painful to work there, and you lose all your bearings. Bhavish is abusive during meetings. The atmosphere is so stressful that you start doubting yourself. The strategy keeps changing constantly. Senior employees are expected to take all accountability without authority. Public terminations are very common, unquote. A former Ola Electric employee told CNBC TV 18, you do go in knowing that a startup job will be demanding, but the culture can be very toxic with everyone trying to pull you down to please Bhavish. You can fall out of favor and be moved out of your role in a very short period of time. You're also expected to be available to work seven days a week, unquote. So what has Ola said about exits and layoffs? Ola said, it is a very ambitious company with a name to lead. It is one of the most profitable ride-hailing companies in the world with a very strong balance sheet. Its core continues to be the broader mobility industry. And Ola will look at leaner and consolidated teams and capabilities and would work to keep Ola's strong profitability intact. Uh, for more on this story, you can log on to cnbctv18.com to find my detailed report.